Hello world, it's Nuke the News Media. This is Chatty Dad One here reporting. <clears throat> there are reports recently of a volcanic eruption on Jupiter's moon, Io spotted from Earth. Um, this is not the article here, but this is some pictures that I found of um, some eruptions. Now the pictures that they have of the eruption they have not released yet I wish they would I'd really like to see them but here's some pictures of some eruptions from uh, from last year um, observed in 2010 to 2011 I guess that's when it was let's check it out Is the stuff that we see from NASA, is it real? I mean, is it real or is it just something that they're putting out there for us? You know, I, I don't know anymore. I just don't know anymore what we can trust, who we can trust. But um, this is this article. guys can go on here and check it out but this is from then okay now here's uh, the most recent major Volcanic eruption seen on Jupiter's moons. This is Friday, the 23rd of August, 2013. There's the eruption there. Pretty cool. Is this eruption happening because um, we have a planet seven times the size of Earth coming in? Because that's what the word is on the in the underground world of news. And again, this picture is not a recent picture, but it is a picture of a volcano erupting on this moon. You know that they could give us the new ones. I don't know why they haven't. Maybe because it shows half the planet getting blown apart. Who knows? Another uh, major volcanic eruption seen on Jupiter's moon, Io, August 23rd, 2013. This is from Universe Today. Very cool. Old pictures. Uh, this one says uh, Voyager 1 acquired this image of Io on March 4th, 1979. Let's see something. I thought that that was a uh, March 4th, 1971. Okay. Voyager acquired this image on 1971. Was that the same? And here we go. March 4th, 1979. What are we to believe here from these things? From these people? Can we believe anything that they say? I mean, here we have different dates. Um, I apologize for it being out of the picture some, but um, I'll leave a link below so you can go check it out. But yeah, and we got different friggin' dates of the stuff going on. It's the same image, the same image, different dates. And what the frick is that about? Voyager 1 acquired this. 1971. Which is it? NASA? JPL? Which is it? 1971 or 1979? Come on. Let's get your story together, NASA. JPL. Let's give us the truth, why don't you? I think we deserve it. This here is from Universe Today. Could have been a typo, but I seriously don't know how they can screw up this bad. 
what am I saying? It's NASA. <laughs> but yeah, we've got um, several, several reports of this thing blowing its top, going ballistic. And this is from uh, uh, 2004. May 2004, August 2007, seven, September 2007. You know, they're giving us, they're throwing dates at us left and right, man. But there's several different pictures here. This is um, on October 1. Doesn't give, no. Obtained 30 July 1999. So they got plenty of pictures of it. They, they're watching this thing. Activity I observed in 2010 and 2011 showing the result. Quasi-permanent eruptions in LP band. Okay. Let's see this one. All right. Doesn't give a date on this one. But... What are we? What are we to believe? It's published um, space.com, published second of November, two thousand twelve. What are we to believe, y'all? Is this thing because is this thing erupting because planet seven times size of Earth is coming through and causing? you know, gravitational pull on this moon and caused it to blow blow its top? Or are they feeding us a line? Are they baiting us along? Is this their carrot that they're, they're carrying so they can carry out whatever plan that they have to do? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, hope everybody's well. This is Chatty Dad 1 for Nuke the News Media. Never give up your guns. Your rights go right along with them. Always stand up for what's right. Stand up for others if they can't stand for themselves. Especially those who are disabled and who are unable to stand up for themselves. Help others as much as you can. But help yourself first. Make sure you and your family are secured and have a plan and are prepared as much as possible. At that point, you can go and help others. It's a wonderful thing to do. I believe those who uh, are waking up are going to continue to wake up. There are those who will never wake up until it's in their face, until reality slaps them in the face. So some people, you, you know, we're not going to be able to reach. Anyway, I hope everybody's well. This is Chatty Dad 1 for Newton News Media. Over and out.